Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dead Cells, where if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm getting a little discouraged. I'm, I'm having a tough time here. Uh, I do not feel like I'm making a lot of progress, and I think that that's probably more feeling than reality, but I just wanted to take a second and acknowledge that it's like really easy, especially if you lose at something a bunch of times in a row, to get into your feelings about how frustrated you are and about how it seems like you're never going to be able to do this and to just give up on something. And we are not giving up. When I started this series, I figured we'd get back to three cells, we'd like work back up to three cells, we'd probably not get any further, but I'd get to see like a bunch of the new things they've done with the game, the new items and the rebalances and whatnot. Um, but the fact that we beat three cells makes me think that we can do this. We can beat four cells. Progress is possible, man. This is a thing we all knew already. So I'm not giving up. But I am, for the sake of my own sanity, just to just to try to give myself a little bit of confidence back, I am going to take here a strategy that we have uh, maybe worn out the shoes of a little bit. This is a real, this is a real good weapon, and I just want to, I want to take it easy for today. So... Yeah, we'll do this thing. Maybe this is a purple build. Maybe it's a red build. I don't really know. We'll see. We'll see how things turn out. I guess we got to make a choice right now. Uh, I'm going to take it as a purple build with an off-color shield. I think that makes sense. I do love a good shield. What? Why would I press right click there? I was just like, I was letting him know if you shoot at me, I will parry it. Don't try me. And then he tried me. Because nobody ever has any respect for SB. That's just, that's just life as I live it. Hey, that was pretty close to me still getting hit. Uh, I am perhaps overestimating the offensive capability of these weapons. Also, I gotta remember, throw trap on ground and run away from it. Not actually a real strategy anymore, because stuff chases you. I panicked. I was gonna just parry and then I panicked. Alright. We took it purple? Yeah, we're taking it purple. Where are we at? Combo 27? Yo, apparently I aggroed some elites. I'll be super annoyed if I don't get my 30. Okay. We're all good. I, I might have already had my 30 by the time I was saying that, but I was afraid to look. Uh, we're going to keep the oil thing. Uh, do I want to take Cleaver over... No, I probably like Crusher better than Cleaver, right? And I definitely want to have a turret. Yeah. I like the fact that every item we have on us causes victims to burn when they die. <laughs> it's a real unity of purpose in our equipment here. So we're at a minute 35. We found the chest and both of the scrolls. So if we find an exit, we should probably just take it, regardless of which exit it is. That's a big if. Oh boy, is this going to be what I think it is? No. Yes it is. Okay. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it in time. No, we're totally not. Ah. Alright, well then I don't really want to do this. <laughs> That's not the exit I wanted to take. But if we could have gotten there fast enough, I would have I would have just accepted it for the extra door. Oh wow, this is going to suck. Oh gosh. Yep, I tried to I tried to catch him. Uh, he really runs fast. I mean, they're always fast, but that one's really fast. Uh, mm, I think this is actually an upgrade because like the damage you take is inflicted on the enemies, so enemies just don't hit all that hard relative to the amount of health that they have, and like, why not? Why not? You don't get hit. What if that was your strategy? Well, I'm a little bummed out about that, but we do already have one piece of uninfected food on the ground, so... 
it's not too bad to get infected once, and we did hit our combo goal already. I'm not going to pay for an on-color shield. An off-color shield is very nearly as good. It does the important part, which is giving you the ability to parry. Well, that's 20% better than an Amethyst. I don't know what it is, but every game that I've played in the last, like, I don't know, two weeks has made me think of Diablo 2. There are an awful lot of gems in Diablo 2. I sort of want to... <laughs> I sort of want to go back and play Diablo 2 for the channel. I I've, I've been wanting to do, like, a... Not even a, like, these are the notable retro games, but these are the games of my childhood type feature for a while. Maybe maybe when some holes open up in the schedule, we could, we could start doing that thing. I don't know if people care about my video gaming childhood enough for that to hold interest, despite the fact that all of the games are going to be... Wow, he really travels. I thought for sure we were safe there. Uh, I don't know if people care enough to, <laughs> to watch me play... 20 to 25 year old games um but, you know there's some pretty some pretty good older games and i like a lot of people probably haven't at this point a lot of people who are watching video games on youtube probably haven't actually played diablo 2 right like i bet i bet a lot of you have played diablo 3 but diablo 2 is probably just old enough to be i know my my audience skews a little older than uh than the general youtube audience on account of you know the, the content I make being boring. But even so. E -e -e. Those guys are a real a real threat, aren't they? Okay. Just gonna let him teleport around for a while while he slowly dies of poison. See, that time I was like, okay, I'm learning my lesson. He jumps way further than it looks like. So parry him, and it's just he didn't make contact with the shield. It's always whichever thing you're expecting it not to be. But basically, I just want an excuse to play a bunch of the... <laughs> Nostalgia is setting in. Uh, I want an excuse to play lots of games that I liked when I was younger. Well, let's go eat our chicken. Our turkey, rather. And then... Maybe we do ramparts today? I, I might... I know the sewers have been good to us, but kind of yearning for a uh, for a change of pace a little here, even though we have had lots and lots of bad experiences, obviously, uh, over in the other place. Right, we go promenade. We go through the ossuary. The ossuary is not that dangerous. Oh, right, and if I go this way, then I get Prison Depths instead of Corrupted Prison, which is definitely an advantage, because, yo, screw that noise. It's a bad time. All right, show me something captivating. Hmm. Well, we could take on a proper, a proper ranged weapon. Shots leave a trail of flames. Here's the thing. My concern with the, um, I, the Ice Bow is a very good item. My concern with taking an Ice Bow here is that um, we're going to be constantly breaking the freeze with the poison damage. And this thing does bonus damage to poison targets. I'm going to take it. I think that not having a shield is definitely a little on the dangerous side. But I'm excited to, I'm excited to use this thing. I think it's a really fun weapon. Alright, do we want to unlock something? I'm going to save for right now. teleport right past that dude. Alright, well we are definitely in a uh, no enemies near you and also close to a deployed skill kind of place. That said, disengagement 100% saved my life last episode and I I hate to let it become a crutch the way the YOLO heart used to be a crutch for me. But also, it does help. <laughs> it does help quite a bit. It doesn't freeze the enemies the way the yellow heart does when it fires, but also it can fire more than once per run, which is certainly an upgrade. Do we need these? Probably not.
Ow. I thought I... Okay, well, I recovered some of the health. I thought there was going to be enough time for the things to explode, but I forgot that they only explode if exploding would damage you. And otherwise, they just wait and bide their time. Take this, target dummy. That's right. I didn't... That poison must be much closer to acid than poison for it to work the way we just witnessed there. Eee, that was not good. I did press the button. I was just facing the wrong direction. Get out of here. I gotta remember I have this thing. Ow. Okay, it is totally reasonable to get, like, one or two points of malaise removal per area, right? From food. So, it's not necessarily the case that I need to get hit zero times in each region, but I have sort of already spent the one that I'm allowed, so <laughs> let's not make any more mistakes, shall we? Leery of teleporting to the, uh, to the thing, because I don't know where it is. I'm so glad that bats cannot be affected by the, uh, by the invincibility shield. Okay, hold on a second. I'm just gonna let him walk over here and then turn around. This very awkward gate. He is a super cool looking enemy. Oh! Okay, I see how it is. I thought he was gonna have to, like, walk over and try to do a thing. But right, teleporting. It's always teleporting with these guys. Gosh, I love this pistol. And honestly, I like our little combo here. That's fun to do. I don't know that it's more effective than like a traditional just like use a bow stupid type strategy, but it's really cool and fun. <laughs> Okay, so we have a shop if we decide we really want to shop. It's hard for me to imagine spending any money on anything in this biome. I guess a skill. It's, it's more likely that we would do a skill than a, than a weapon purchase, for sure. If it turns out that the game is now so difficult that not even... Uh, not even playing long distance, ooh. <laughs> that not even playing long distance with the, uh, the alchemical pistol is enough to get us where we're going. That is going to somewhat deepen my, my despair. Uh, I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep the wings over the crusher. The sinew slicer is a little bit more versatile than a crusher, although a little less versatile than most, uh, most skills, most turrets. Aha! I was ready for you. This I was less ready for, although I should have been ready for it. Get off my platform! Hey, that worked pretty well. Off my platform. Now see, in a case like this, I'm reluctant to teleport to it, so we're just gonna live without it for a minute. Okay, 60. Hey, we did it. Nope, try not. There we go. I was trying to make sure I did that right at the edge so that I would hit the bat. Yeah, this thing's pretty effective for, for helping me keep a little bit of distance. So it pushes the enemies back quite a distance when you use it. How many times in one sentence can I say the word distance? Oh, I should probably, yeah, grab my spear. Who built this spear? Don't they know all weapons are supposed to have a magical recall policy? This is how video games are supposed to work at this point. So we're already past the time door. There's no excuse for rushing. Let's just try to try to take it slow and not do anything stupid. We're not in a bad position. I might go so far as to say, 
I think we're in a good position. As long as we can behave reasonably and rationally. I was kind of hoping... There we go. That that would continue to aim downward, although I guess I'm not actually getting the cloud onto that thing. Please die. Alright. Wonderful. Is there a reason to come up here? No. I mean, why does anyone do anything? Oh! Very clever. Dude's got slick maneuvers. Come on. There we go. <laughs> it is a super fun weapon. It's I, I know it's not great. But it is a it is a joy to use it. Alright. It is a shame to have to mash up a giant killer. I do so love to kill a giant. I wonder how easy it would be to kill the giant with that thing. I bet a, a good combo on the giant's eye probably does an awful lot of work. And really, you would think that would be the case, like, basically no matter what. Whenever you hit someone in the eye several times with a sword, it should... Probably it should kill them. But through the magic of video games... <laughs> through the magic of abstraction... Things just don't always work the way you would expect. I was, um... My mom was trying to learn some stuff about video games over the last few years. Which, you know, obviously, I am like... I am all for. I'm very, very much reinforcing this. Uh, but I was trying to explain a game to her, and I, I thought I was doing it at a pretty, at a pretty low, a pretty beginner-friendly sort of level. Uh, oh, this is definitely Wings of the Crow. Look at that! Look at that! That feels very unfair. Uh, you know what? Here, let's go ahead and start up on these guys the same way. Is that guy? That guy's not dead. He's right there. I I can see you, asshole. Okay, apparently this is what we're doing now. <laughs> what, a, what a weird behavior. Uh, no, I still like the oil. So I was explaining it to her at what I thought was a pretty beginner-friendly level. Uh, and then she stopped me. And she said, okay, I think I get what you're saying, but let's back it up a step. What's a hit point? And I was like, oh, wow, yeah, video games are steeped in so many layers of, like, assumed contextual knowledge that what I think of as a beginner-friendly level is still, like, eight layers of information deep. And so I had to, like, talk to her about the abstractions of health systems in games, going back to, you know, chain mail and war games and stuff. Uh, the blowgun may well actually be better for us than the javelin, but I'm going to keep the javelin because it's more fun to use. There's a pretty good, um, if I remember correctly, there's a pretty good Polygon video about health systems. It might be an Unraveled. It's definitely a Brian David Gilbert joint uh, where he talks about the origin. The first game that ever had hit points was a, a like a warships, um, a warships war game type thing, like a miniatures game. And a hit point, uh, a hit point represent, hit points represented the number of, um, like the number of 15 millimeter shells a thing could get hit by, could get hit by and survive was its number of hit points or the the number it would take to kill it uh, which is a system that i think we should have stuck with because it really simplifies things all living creatures have one hit point ow my face how are your bombs covered in the malaise how does that even make sense just exploding disease onto me oh interesting a different kind of of cowardly strategy. Well, it's too late to switch horses right now. You know, because we're in the middle of the stream. That's the that's the colloquialism I was hinting at. I realized after I said it that it was not necessarily 100% clear. Why did I do that? That's an elite. I hate this. Yeah, that... That thing where the bombs explode at whatever speed would be least convenient for the player uh, really sucks and needs to stop happening. Okay. Ooh. 
A rare. Would you please die? Ooh, almost got hit by his stupid elite lightning. Okay, I would argue that I did not there actually take a fair hit. I think I was outside of it. Got him. <laughs> okay, wave of denial. Oh, he dropped some interesting stuff. Uh, well... I, we gotta take that. And then a Crusher 5L that poisons the enemies... And also generates a toxic cloud around the trap, which is the same thing. I... yep. Yep, I know that I said it's less versatile than a turret, and I still think that's true, but this is a really good one of these. Now, unfortunately, that... Uh, that was a lot of malaise. Four points is too many. It's too many points. Please do not block my projectiles. Alright, we're going to give these guys a taste of the fancy new crusher. Yeah, that's not bad. I like a remotely deployable cloud of gas, as you might have guessed from the fact that my favorite weapon is the remote, the remote cloud of gas deployer. Hold on, I'm going to let him... It does work on both of them. That's lovely. What a what a good dumb fun weapon. Do we have food up? Did I get food and leave it? No. So, okay. Not ideal. You got to remember cough syrup. Cough syrup is a thing that exists. And there's a food shop in I wasn't planning to go to the ramparts, though. I think there is a food shop in the ramparts. Is there one in the ossuary? There might be. I think we have good weapons for the ossuary. Oh, I can't go down there right now. This guy is a real problem. Okay, problem solved. Yo! Can I just say, the fact that I survived that without even taking a single hit is something I am quite proud of. That was a lot of very high-speed decision-making <laughs> that went into that one. Get over there. It's Colorless Fire Blast. Oh, an enemy is walking in and out of the range. Do we want Fire Blast? Over our, um, I guess it would be over the Javelin? Probably not, right? I mean, I love, I, I love Fire Blast alongside a weapon that spreads oil. But no, I, I don't think that this actually fills a good role for us. It's super cool. It is, it is a really cool drop that I think we are just going to pass up here. Also, apparently I missed a couple of enemies. We do need to make sure that we are killing every enemy who even potentially could drop a food for us. Uh, also, I'm a little annoyed that we were lied to by the map. It said that there were two enemies left. One on each of those platforms, and it just straight up lied to me for no reason. No, you oh, you're killing me. I really would have told you that I had uh that I had left far enough to um to grab the edge of the roof there. I did not intend to fall onto the ground. Okay, clearly aware of me despite my invisibility, which I do not like. That was not that was supposed to be a throw. I just sort of assumed that I was still holding my spear. So yeah, these things suck a huge amount and I hate them. I'm just gonna flask. We have to.
Oof, okay. I wish that the spear did stuff to enemies that, like, walked over it. Oh, he walked just fast enough to get out of the crush. Secret discovered, apparently. There are moments of brilliance. Because a lot of people would be would be afraid to describe themselves as brilliant due to, you know, basic common modesty. I have no such fears. There are moments of brilliance in my play, but also there's a lot of other moments, unfortunately. <laughs> there's so many moments. And all of them soon lost to the malaise like tears of poison in rain. So where is that... Okay, it's down there, and it's filthy. It's disgusting food. I won't touch it. Okay, we have reached the end of the area, though. So, we do get to leave the area at zero malaise, thanks to our very clean turkey. Actually, hold on. Let me not get hit by the elevator. I should probably just use this thing to go backwards. So there's no reason for us to not go to the prison deaths, right? And we don't. Everything's fine. I could have, I suppose, tried to just tough it out without using the flask charge. And then, um... And then relied on alienation. Plus the cursed chest at the beginning of the prison deaths to get us back up to a reasonable state. Maybe that would have been the right thing to do, but we'll probably be able to afford a flask charge. We just gotta make sure we go somewhere where there is one. Oil grenade. Hmm. We're certainly not taking either, either of these other things. I don't think I want an oil grenade over either of our other pieces of equipment, so I guess we did all that work for 800 gold. You know, it's just, it's uh, put it toward the flask. So the Wave of Denial is actually not a thing I have a ton of experience with. It's been in the game for a long time, but I feel like I just never used it much. We're going to put some cells toward this guy, and we're not going to unlock it. Because I'm still doing this thing, where I think I'm going to unlock these at a moment of great need. Okay. And then I have 185 cells left, and there's a pretty good chance, I think, that I'm going to die horribly in this next region, which makes me kind of want to... Pour these into somewhere. We're going to hold on to them. We're going to hold on to them as a statement of trust in our own abilities. Because apparently that's a thing I have now. We certainly try to fight with no enemies near us, but... I don't know, man. The enemies, they get near you. It's really hard to deal damage with no enemies near you on a difficulty where enemies always teleport to be near you. So now, when we're fighting near our crusher, we get bonus damage. I'll take it. And yeah, give me. Give me. Show me what you got. You got a colorless... Oh, what you got is a colorless giant killer. I mean... We must take it. Right? Right? I replace my goofy javelin with it, and then we do one of those. And obviously, we're still going to rely on the... Um, on the poison pistol quite heavily for this first part here. That and our invisibility, which is just wonderful. Wow, I really thought I was gonna... I started firing and then I was like, you gotta turn around to roll. And I was like, well, okay, I'll just, we'll, let the, we'll let the shot happen and then we'll do the roll. And I managed to screw every part of that up. I turned around too early and also did not, in fact, have time to roll. So, yeah, poison pistol, not enough to carry me all the way through the thing. Feels pretty bad. Feels like, feels debilitatingly bad. Uh, okay, give me another weapon that I've, that I've traditionally done pretty okay with. Mushroom boy, save me. This is, I mean, this is 
going to be the one, right? There he is. All right, Mushroom Boy, you're kind of getting in the way a little bit. And I respect that you're trying your hardest, but, you know, just, like, think about what you're doing before you do it. All right, consider the impact your actions might have on other people who are me. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's how you do it. You gotta get him to stand too close to the thing you want to climb up, because he will not shoot you if the angle is steep enough. Boy, I'm really surprised that that knife didn't come out. And if it had come out, it would certainly have hit me. Like, his arm was all the way through the throw animation. We were... We were saved there by the grace of the game. Okay. Things... <laughs> things are a little intense right now. Can we go a different way? Nope, there is no different way to go. They are actually going to make me fight this elite. Uh, I wanted so badly to kill some rats there. Okay, there's my 30. Ow, ow, ow. Stop hitting me, you jerk. Why would you do this? What's wrong with you? Okay. The good news is, even though we got hit multiple times there, it was multiple ticks from the same attack, so the game only gave us one malaise for it, which is a small bit of mercy. Listen, don't, don't decry the small bits of mercy, okay? Take mercy where you can get it. Um, no, I think the one we have now is better. Mushroom Boy's making me so nervous. He's behaving just, like, in an extremely erratic way. <laughs> Alright, we're taking this guy. I will absolutely just cheese you to death. You stay over there. <laughs> That almost wasn't enough cheese. I think we can we can skip that one too. Did we hit our combo goal already? I actually don't remember. Well, whatever. We're we're close enough. We could still do it. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, we totally did, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. <sighs> Y'all... Definitely, definitely feeling sad in my heart. I guess, actually, we just want to keep climbing here. I'm getting hit by, like, rats? Also, I I'm not trying to be like, oh, no, it was my controller's fault. But I do feel like I am, um... I was trying to pick up the food, please. I do feel like I'm pressing the... I'm pressing the roll. The rolls are not coming out, but I'm, I'm trying my hardest. So we're probably going to leave here with... Uh, with three points of malaise, right? We're unlikely to... We're not that likely to find more clean food. We already found some, so... That's not unrecoverable, and obviously, food shops have cough syrup. But it's not great. Uh, with our... With our run being more green-focused now... Killing an elite sometimes removes malaise is a, a mutation we have access to, right? So that that could be good. We might be okay. It's not so. trying to keep things in perspective yet. We are not in that much trouble. Oh, is it going to be poison food again? It is, in fact. I wonder if the, um... 
I wonder if the event-based food, if the, the little storyline room things of food will always be either poisoned or unpoisoned. Right, because the ones the ones that we took from the uh, the guy's dinner plate outside of his cell door have always been not poisoned. And that one has always been poisoned, right? Oh, this one spreads oil on people. This is a slightly better mushroom boy. Feels a little mercenary to judge him that way, but you know, what are you going to do? I'm trying to win out here. Alright, let's, let's try this again. There's a lot to be said for prison depths instead of... Um, instead of corrupted prison. But, obviously, the, <laughs> the prison depths did kill us. I'm really bummed out about that, too, because, like, a good purple build with an off-color giant killer like, seemed like a good place to be. Uh, you know what? I might just take this over Mushroom Boy, because Mushroom Boy is erratic. Wolf Trap. I understand how Wolf Trap works. Mushroom Boy, you can never tell what he's going to do. What am I doing? I know I know we don't want any of this. Alright, so once again, disengage can be pretty solid. Killing an elite will occasionally heal some malaise. Let's let's take this. Let's try to get our garbage under control. So it seems like we see what, like two elites per area? Pretty pretty frequently. I would not be willing to claim with this sample size that that is definitely what we what we should always expect to get, but it's a it's a start. It's a it's a start toward understanding. I got a wild idea. What if there uh, what if there weren't training dummies everywhere that make all enemies invincible? What if we played that game? Oh, I fired that just a little tiny bit early. Gonna take any chance we can get to kill enemies while they're not invincible. I don't feel like this should be like this big of a deal. But you can never you can never assume in this particular biome that you will actually be able to deal damage to things. I do wish that it was just like a general video games culture thing that effects would not say things like occasionally and instead would tell you what the math is. Like, how frequently exactly does the effect heal some malaise? Well, that's not ideal. I froze and trapped the same guy. <laughs> Uh, I hate it. Let's see if we can draw him far enough back here. Far enough away from the thing that they are not still invincible from it. Oh, a death orb's interesting. Um, it's hard for me to imagine wanting to part with the ice grenade given its synergy with our actual thing on top of it just being generally very good, so I guess let's do it this way. I do think it's a good idea for us to have a thing like a death orb. Wow! While I was absolutely rolling. What a bummer. Can't iframe explosions. Well, it's, it's still probably the case that the health isn't really relevant. No, I should be going down. What am I doing? The point of malaise probably matters more than the damage we took there. But they're both bad. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm not happy about any part of it. Okay, well, that guy's relatively isolated and easy to deal with now. We may as well just go at him. He did not heal my malaise. Uh, I think we'll... Yeah, I think we'll keep the one we have. Ah! Must you?
that guy die? I think he died. I think he fell all the way to his death. Okay. Got him in one. That's a pretty good start. Really wasn't expecting the uh, the big guy to eat the freeze there. I thought the little one was going to run through him fast enough. Okay. I don't know, man. This strategy feels like it's working, and it feels like I'm doing well with it, and it's restoring a little bit of confidence, but unfortunately, I could say the exact same thing as the last one, and the knowledge that that last one felt pretty good and then went sideways all of a sudden uh, sort of ruins the feeling I'm having with this one right now. Then again, you know, it's like cursed chest stuff that can happen on any difficulty. Almost hit myself with the elevator, which is a thing I have not actually done in quite some time. Alright, there we go. Boy, these dudes are a real danger. Wow. He was actually inside of me, so I could not hit him by shooting in either direction. It's a cunning strategy. Uh, I mean, yeah, we have to. I guess I could have waited to do it until I was closer to some enemies to take advantage of the bonus damage, but honestly, if I'm hitting them, we're already winning, right? I do definitely feel like we get through the sewers at least the first layer of the sewers, without taking reliably so much damage. Oh, I don't care about this. After you, uh, after you read one of those things, maybe it should just disappear. Oh, that's interesting. I think no. Right, does anybody after their first time want to read the letter from the king? But it's just close enough to the other thing to cause problems. Uh, ice armor is cool. Maybe I, maybe I don't need a death orb. Maybe what I need is something like this. I'm going to take it. It's not really that expensive. And I do think that it's a better idea to have something like this. And this eats a hit. So it prevents us from taking a, uh, a point of malaise. Which is a pretty big deal. all of the electric whips the game forcing me to destroy my beautiful beautiful electric whips in an attempt to prove its dominance over me but i shall not be cowed see this is the thing it's trying desperately to humiliate me into ending the series i get it i see this psychological warfare but all it's doing is making my eventual victory that is definitely going to happen all the sweeter. Okay. Again, again with the invincibility. I want to meet the person on the QA team who was like, yeah, no, leave all the, leave all the invincibility causing training dummies in. Those totally rule and are fun to play against. And I want to I want to ask that person some questions. You know, I just have I have some things that I think they need to hear. Stop. Stop jumping around. Huh. Not 100% sure how that, how that shot took so long to go off. We could, of course, just not go to the alternate biome, the extra biome. Or we could go to the extra biome and not take the cursed chest. But I feel like we really need every last little bit of damage. Okay, this is bad. This is a bad time. Okay, found some pastry. 
apparently my ice armor got blown off the instant I activated it, which is not great. Hate it. I hate the, uh, I hate all of the elite things that are just, wow, he just jumped right through the, uh, through the ice bolt. He decided he didn't care what the rules were. Uh, you know what? Let's throw that in the backpack. Not saying we're definitely going to take it, but, or use it. We may as well take it. Yeah, I hate, I hate all of the elite things that are just, you take damage now. Hey, at least the um, at least the one that is a line of energy that rotates around like a clock hand. There's a little bit of counterplay there. The um, the one we just saw and the, uh, of course. Ah, oh, there it is. The one we just saw and the one that's just like an orb around them that gives you maybe like a quarter second of warning and then goes off. Those ones just feel like they, they immediately end your combo when you see them. There's not like a ton you can do about it except to run away. Or the crystal. The, the crystal I've obviously expressed some distaste for in the past. Also, if I may, this is not exactly the same complaint, but the elite thing where it's just two of the guy? That's not like a it's not like a gameplay design problem, but it's lazy. It feels lazy to me. But what if what if like it was hard cuz there was two cuz there was a second one of him. There was a second guy. Oh dear. Well, I tried to move, but you know, animations and everything. Come on, teleport up here. It really makes me nervous that every time I freeze him, he's he's in the frame of the attack that happens right before I get damaged. Oh god, he's freeze-proof. Okay. Ooh, we got there. God, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're always on all sides of me. Ooh. Well, that was a nightmare. Whew. We're doing alright. We're only on two malaise. We're doing alright. Seriously, the pushback from my bow knocked me into the explosion. That's very frustrating. I mean, the attack is still doing enough damage. It's not like... The bow's not getting outscaled or anything. It's just the mechanics of it are eluding me just enough to be a problem. I can't believe, though, that we got pushed back so far that we took damage from that bomb that was very far away from us there. That's really frustrating. Uh, absolutely not. It's not, e not even 500 gold. What an insult. Alright, so we hit the Explorer's Rune. How much more thing is left? There is a scroll. We do have to go get that. But we don't necessarily have to fight these enemies. We didn't hit our combo goal yet, but also there's not enough guys left for us to hit our combo goal off of them anyway. Uh, but any one of these guys might drop food. We don't. Realistically, we don't have the option of not doing this. We just have to do a good job, which is sometimes easier than it sounds. Oh cool, an additional guy. You know, there weren't, there weren't enough dudes shooting tons of bombs at us. Uh, that's, that's a bummer, there we go. Where was this? Oh, he's up. Ooh, okay. I almost tried to grab that platform edge. <laughs> it 
it does seem like the amount of knockback, the amount of pushback you get off of firing the um, the secondary of this crossbow is variable. It doesn't feel like it's moving me back the same amount every time. That is what I am choosing to blame for that bomb hit earlier. Okay, well, did what I could. Just making sure I'm not jumping into anything crazy here. Alright, so there's no food left. Yeah, I grabbed that one pastry. Alright, I guess let's just uh, head to the prison depths. Are we in a situation where it makes sense to take alienation? Probably, actually. Like, we might be able to get by... We'll just, um, killing elites sometimes removes malaise, but alienation will refill our health, too. Now, granted, it does keep us, um, it does keep us cursed for a little bit of extra time. Do I want to, do I want to S-rank this weapon? There's a good chance we'll replace it immediately. This is probably worth ranking up, though. Oh, right, I do have to take the mutation. I suppose I will do that on account of it is <laughs> mandatory. Alright. This is a weapon with which we should be able to get 15 curse kills. Should. This is a weapon with which we will be able to get 15 curse kills. It's the power of positive thinking. Boots. Or sandals, rather. Sort of the opposite of boots. Do I want to take these over? Yeah, I think so. You know, the boots are real fast. They have a, a real benefit there. I'm a little nervous about the fog that we can already see above us. Okay, and there's a green bat above him. So I'm gonna... Jump up like this. Okay. There's one guy yet yeah, right there. Don't see anybody else right now. Okay. Okay. You know, a couple of... When the bats are not going to be instantly lethal to you, it's real helpful to have them around for a thing like this. Okay. One more kill. One more kill. So, curse is clear. We are full health. Zero malaise. This one strikes me as a, a thing that could be a little dangerous, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ice armor because I want to save the ice armor for the next platform. Cause who knows what's gonna happen while we're fighting this asshole? Yeah, exactly, exactly my point. Okay. Well, we got through it. I'm a little. I'm definitely a little nervous. I can feel it in my hands. There's a little bit of nervous energy going on here. Okay, two enemies walking to the right. Let's see if we can just kill this guy before they come back. Nope, not exactly. Okay. That got a little terrifying. It's all very dangerous is the thing. Every, every enemy we fight is so dangerous on four cells. Oh, that's a wall. Did not realize. I'm just going to back off a little bit here. Thank you for following me. I do appreciate that they at least announce themselves with the teleport. So many things in Dead Cells um, do not give me the warning that I feel that I am due. Really, really appreciative here. 
I uh, don't know exactly what's going on down here. The ice armor is really... Like, it makes me feel so much more secure. Okay. Fortunately, the explosion on that is pretty small. I think maybe even smaller than the normal bomb explosions. I'm a little surprised that the bleed isn't breaking the freeze as soon as I reapply it. I guess maybe it has to be a certain amount of damage in total. Hmm, now that's interesting. Do we want this over the ice armor? I think I'm going to hold on to the ice armor for right now. I don't know, that might, that might not be right. I mean, like, Tonic's obviously very good. I'm just thinking that right now, as we are at full health... Oh, hey, he just decided after firing. I thought, since he started firing while we were down on the uh, on the lower floor, that all the bombs would necessarily go to the lower floor. Uh, but apparently, he can make that decision later. This was perhaps unwise. Ah, I got forced off the platform. <laughs> Please let that guy bleed out. Okay, we got him eventually anyway. Having a really hard time hitting the, um, the spawner. Okay, one more dangerous enemy down. One more dangerous enemy down. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I was about to say, we're actually going to get through this without taking any actual hits. <sighs> well, it wasn't too bad, though. Like, as far as, as far as prices to pay for things getting that out of control, I think that was pretty gentle. Those guys, the, the spawners, always really complicate things. Gonna, he's gonna aggro, I can tell. A little surprised that the one that was in the back got frozen, on account of that's not usually how the projectiles work. Take that, though. Actually, I should have just let him teleport over. So it'll be, it'll be much easier to deal with over here. Hmm. That was the second time there where we somehow froze the guy who was further away from us. It's not a big deal, except when it's, you know, anything anything happening that is not the thing I expect to have happen is uh, potentially <laughs> dangerous for us. Uh, I think I want to keep the one we have now. Okay. Do love, enemies remains explode. Okay, so we've gotten to the end. Is that the whole region? You know, honestly, I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about the resources expended and the outcomes achieved. And then we get nothing. Then they gave us nothing. It's fine. We got the uh, we got the real treasure, which is an extra scroll. I don't think we're doing sewers. I think we're doing ossuary. Shoot, I can't remember. We do have to make it to the cavern. Can we get there from here? Uh, I think uh, the ossuary takes us to the Black Bridge. 
There was definitely a way from somewhere into the cavern. Behind a cell door. And I just don't remember where it was. Uh, nope, we're taking all this stuff with us. We're going to put a whole bunch of cells into the forge. It's totally going to happen. Everything's going to be fine. Do I want to remove alienation? You know what? Honestly, I don't think so. I think I am going to take Heart of Ice, though, because ice armor all the time, right? We have a very ice-based ice build here. They should probably move the floor underneath that thing down a little bit. So that if you uh, if you fast drop through, you don't hit the floor before the loading zone happens. I just realized I don't think I had ever checked that. <laughs> that would be a really good place to hide a, a blueprint or something. All right, we're still still doing all right on scaling. Wow, you can fire at us from all the way down there, huh? These guys are very aware. It would be really nice if we could secure um, a combo here. At this point, the things that come out of the combo door have to be like rank 9 at least, right? And we have a weapon that, in theory... Oh, hold on, I see this. How do I... There we go. We have a weapon that, in theory, should be able to get us a pretty long, safe kill streak. I just have to be careful, which is a thing I'm terrible at, which is why I am moving so slowly. That's an elite who I'd rather not fight just yet. That's an elite who I'd rather not fight just yet. I do not remember what is in the doors in this place. Oh right, teleporting. Always with the teleporting. Alright, opportunity for a legendary. Maybe it'll be something really cool. It looks like it's twin daggers, which I don't think we want to take over the sandals. Honestly, the sandals attack really fast. I know they're kind of a silly weapon, but... I don't think I'm going to take these. Okay, food shop. Good to know. I mean, I buy the flask. Why would I not buy this right now? And then we could come back, potentially, and get that cough syrup, which... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to try to curse myself or anything, but I have a feeling that we may end up needing it. But yeah, like, uh, the ossuary is really well positioned for a food shop. Honestly, like, this is, this is a great place for there to be one. Boy, it takes a really long time to just fire the, the right click again. Like, there's a... It seems like there's a delay before you can activate it again if you haven't done the left click first. They really don't want you just spamming that, I guess. You know, if it comes right down to it, we could probably... I think I saw one of those, one of those pay doors over there. We could probably break that and use that curse to um, replenish some stuff. I didn't see what was behind it. Maybe I didn't even see a door at all. Did I? Am I making this up? No, I am not making this up. There's a crowbar back there. All right, we'll keep a uh, keep in mind that that's there. Obviously, it's dangerous, and I believe the curse you get off of one of those is pretty long. I'm a little nervous about this. We we'll just, yep, turns out it was a good idea to use that because it was in fact an issue.
Yeah, I don't know why it takes so long to, to fire off the second shot again. Nope. God damn it. As soon as I... As soon as I tapped the secondary fire button, I knew what was going to happen, and it was already too late to fix it. Well, the Ossuary is pretty long. I'm not saying that I don't think we can still combo, but I am saying that I don't want to have to start over at this point. Definitely a little bit of a bummer. It's nice not to have to... It's nice not to feel too worried about the malaise, though. Like, knowing that there is cough syrup around and that we will definitely have the money for it is really nice. You know what's not really nice is that damn crystal. Oh my god, just die. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, no, I think our necklace is actually really good. It's going to be tough to replace. Well, maybe we should just give up on the, uh, the combo door. Hmm. I don't know about all that. Just... Just getting caught by his projectile before he has even had a chance to fully animate it, much less fire it. But yeah, I'm thinking there's a pretty good chance. We're, we're just gonna keep getting tapped every so often and... Not only not make our combo door, but also end up in kind of a dangerous situation malaise-wise. It does seem to keep happening. Wow, that's a... Alright, that's a gift. We will come back for that later. My suspicion is we will need it. We will we will need every last bit of its life-giving tryptophan. Some of the biomes have extra cursed uh, chests in some of the doors. I am now remembering. Maybe I should figure out which ones those are, because those are probably worth pursuing. Ooh. That we will take right now. Oh, roll. Oh, God. Okay. I... There's very little I fear more than those bombs at this point. <laughs> Man, this biome has a ton of scroll pieces. Yeah, two of those things right on top of each other very much sucks. It sucks a lot. How much does it suck? Very much, it turns out. Alright, you stay here. Hold on. If there are ten enemies left in this biome, I think we should take that. If not, we definitely shouldn't. Uh, do I want a new skill? Probably not. I, I'm pretty happy with the skills we have. If we see a branch over here that has enemies, we're going to go grab that. Okay. Obviously, I don't want to be in the boss fight <laughs> with a curse on me. Uh, cause that's really annoying. And if it turns out there are fewer than 15 enemies left in the level, then I'm just gonna feel very bad about the thing that just happened here. Cause we've shown on many occasions that I cannot, in fact, defeat the concierge with without taking at least a little bit of damage. 
You know what? I'm going to take this. I think this is a pretty cool item to have off color. We'll keep the uh, we'll keep the the danger armor, which is probably quite effective uh, in making sure we don't die to a curse. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> you are not under any circumstances to fire that bomb. Uh, is there... I can't tell if it's safe to go down there, so we're not going to go down there yet. Because if we take, like, a single point of damage from spikes or something, we do, we do in fact, die from the curse. Have to be very cautious right now. No, no screwing around at this moment. Okay, instinct's good right now. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. I think we are going to come up short. Oh god. <laughs> it's my nightmare. Yeah, I think we're going to come up short here. So if we, if we pull these down a couple at a time, yeah, it will eventually just run itself out of health. I think we're going to end up fighting the boss with curse. With like one curse on us. Well, there's nothing for it. This is... No, this is more than seven enemies. Assuming... These are all actual enemies. Because, like, keep in mind, some of those could be ochre jellies, which do not count as enemies for the purpose of anything. Okay, that's a little annoying. Climb! Climb like your life depends on it, because it actually might. Oh, so many different kinds of horrible ranged enemies. Alright, we got there. Hopefully the show of cowardice was not too embarrassing for anyone. Whew. And there are zero enemies. Oh no, okay, there's a couple of guys over here that we missed. And a couple of guys over here, apparently. Well, alright, one thing at a time. Uh, do we... no, there's nothing else in this area. Well, 13 scrolls going into Black Bridge is pretty good, I think. Uh, so wait, there was a gap in the wall. Boy, where was that even? It was down here. You know, sometimes these things have traps in them. In my, in my defense... But hey, I think we might, at the risk of jinxing it, I think we might actually get out of this without even having to go buy that cough syrup. Also, what a long, strangely constructed area to have no enemies in it. So, if we're not going to... Ooh... Giant Killer 8 plus plus. The thing is, we're so low on money. I don't know. I don't know, I'll think about it. It is a thing I wouldn't mind bringing into the giant fight. With a with a giant killer and a shield, I feel like we could probably get something done. So this is just nothing? It's just empty? Okay, it's one of there's one of these. Oh, 
Well, I have to say, this feels like the most promising four cells run we've had so far. Wow. Okay. Good work, decoy. That was a hell of an explosion. There. Okay, there is one thing over here. I mean, we'll get we'll get a bonus cell off of every enemy that is left in the in the biome. It turns out the explosive decoy is very powerful, and it's super cool that we got an off-color one. I'm gonna go sell that chicken, I guess, if I can get the. The teleport selector is it does not always behave in the way that you might hope. Yeah, boy, what a uh, what a statement of where we are where we are at in our run. I'm just over here selling uninfected turkeys. Can you imagine the hubris? So there's nothing for it but to do this. Am I gonna buy that thing? I'm gonna buy that thing. That's going in the in the backpack. And maybe this is unnecessary, because maybe we're going to find another a, a higher level weapon, but... I want to be prepared. I came here to kill a giant. It feels like it would be silly not to purchase a giant killer when one is offered. Alright, let's go get a no-hit on this boss. Right? That's going to happen. That could happen. You, you can't tell me it can't happen. We're going to have so many cells to put into the forge. Uh, do I want to... Nah. How much is it? 3260. It will make the boss fight shorter. But I'm going to not do it because I think we are probably... We are in the market to replace this thing. And if we want to potentially have enough money to buy food and or cough syrup in the future, we got to... Start taking it easy now on the spending. Yeah, it's a fair amount of damage. This guy really has a lot of health. Okay, so the freeze immunity is a pretty short-term thing. They become unfreeze immune. I should have should have jumped and thrown that at him. Uh, this I don't care for. He's just gonna refresh it so that it's definitely still going to be on when he gets to me. That feels really shitty that he can just he can he can restart the duration while it's still on so he can be he can be damage shielded for like 15 or 20 solid seconds. Well, at this point. At this point I'm just getting hit by all kinds of garbage. Hey, we are going to kill him, at least. In what is maybe the most exciting battle of the fates that has ever been witnessed, if you are to believe the music. Why did I... Why, why would I... Why is that the reaction I would have? Okay, we got there. We only took three malaise during the fight. I feel like people should actually have to hit you to give you malaise. You shouldn't you shouldn't get malaise from energy fields and stuff. If the game has to be hard for me, it should have to be hard for them too. 
All right, it's something. This video is going to be one million hours long. Was it the Slumbering Sanctuary? It might have been the Slumbering Sanctuary that had the door to the cavern. I mean, I think we gotta try it. Yay, 10%. You know, it's not nothing. The ultimate concierge outfit. So I wonder if that's his last drop then. Uh, do we wanna rework things at all? Nah, you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. If it turns out not to be the slumbering sanctuary that um, <laughs> that leads to the cavern, then we are definitely putting ourselves in danger for no reason. Because this is not the easiest biome in the world. Oh god. Nope, stay back. Everything. Everything always teleporting. Yeah, I am starting to feel the, uh... We actually can't not, right? If we want to be strong enough. But I'm definitely scared. I see him. I see him down there just waiting for his opportunity. Oh, I hate this. So I certainly still had my ice armor on. Ice armor does protect you from being killed by an attack while you're cursed. Yeah, it definitely did before. We saw it happen in um in the, the ossuary. I'm not 100% sure why I died there. In fact, I might go so far as to say I definitely shouldn't have died there. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, I guess, you know, nothing for it. It turns out I'm not playing on emulator. We don't have access to save states. Perhaps foolishly on my part. Why wasn't I thinking ahead? All right, well, that is going to have to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I don't know if I feel any better after, <laughs> after this episode. These were some very safe and reasonable strategies that we have used lots before that very much did not work out. It turns out uh, the game is quite hard on this difficulty. When you come back next time, tomorrow, we are going to keep trying. And we'll see you then.